Good morning. <clears throat> it's Wednesday the 28th of July and it's time for the 8th episode of Davy PhD Twitter Twits. In this feature I examine the Twitter feeds from our unionist chums and poke some gentle and crucially non-controversial and less sweary fun at them. We start this week with veteran Tory MP and a previous subject of Twitter Twits, Sir John Redwood. It seems that Sir John is looking into buying an electric car. He's just not convinced about the advertising as he seems to think that key information is being kept from him. Now we do sympathise with Sir John as there is nothing more infuriating than a sales pitch which exaggerates the potential benefits of your purchase without mentioning the potential downsides. But then we remembered Sir John's advocacy for vote leave and Brexit and our sympathy was filed back into the S section of the dictionary. SNP Peter Head had a few words for him too. <clears throat> Haggis UK drew our attention to this clip of Victoria Prentice MP, the Environment, Food and Rural Affairs Minister. I was no Brexiteer, but I must say that for farming and fishing, I think we have really gained from Brexit. Just what is it about Tories and cognitive dissonance? But just in case anyone has forgotten who Victoria Prentice MP is, she's the one who was too busy organising her school's nativity play to notice that Boris's Brexit deal was going to be a disaster for fishermen. But she did find time in her busy schedule to actually vote for it. Now, even previously Brexit-backing fishermen are now on the Tories' case, as evidenced by Brian Buchan here, calling out our own local MP, David Do No Good Jugget. SNP Peter Head were curious to see if Brian received any feedback. Alas, silence from Mr Do No Good MP. Tony Scott's branch office supervisor, Dross MP MSP, is on the warpath. Now for a bit of background, even SNP cabinet secretaries aren't perfect. And John Swinney made a mistake last week, posting something wrong about Covid. Now after a bit of to and and fro he deleted it and apologised as well he should. <clears throat> and as you can imagine, Dross MP MSP was very gracious about the whole thing. Of course, as usual, Dross MP MSP hasn't read the room, as he clearly missed this. The Prime Minister said we have severed the link between infection and serious disease and death. Not only is this not true, Madam Deputy Speaker, but it is dangerous, and it's dangerous to line the pandemic. And I'm disappointed that the Prime Minister has not come to the House to correct the record and to correct the fact that he has lied to this House and the country over and over again. Deputy Speaker, I've reflected on my words and somebody needs to tell the truth in this house that the Prime Minister has lied. Under the power given me by standing order number 43, I order the member to withdraw immediately from the house for the remainder of the day's sitting. I call Tom Randall. Thank you, Madam Deputy Speaker. Of course, our chums at SNP Peterhead were on hand to remind him how ironic and moronic he was being. In more Tories being lying twats news, here's a photo of Tory MP and Housing Minister Robert Jendrick meeting up with Government Professor Jonathan Van Tan. Look at them there, greeting each other with a nice Covid safe elbow bump. Jendrick versus GVT indeed. You can just imagine the two men engaging in a bit of colleague-friendly rivalry as they run around Sconce Park with 163 other runners. Well, I'm afraid you'll have to imagine it, as Robert Jenrick didn't even take part. Yes, it seems he showed up to get a swift photo opportunity and then just as swiftly buggered off. Perhaps Professor Van Tam took part completing the 5k run in 117th place with a time of 35 minutes and 26 seconds. By which time, 
Robert Jenrick was probably at home with his trotter up and a nice cup of tea. I think that Don Butler is going to be very busy calling out more Tory liars when Parliament reconvenes. Log in soon for the next edition of Twitter Twits. Davy PhD.